Yesterday, I tried to bring poetry to engineers and originally I felt quite nervous about it. I believe that there are certain concepts that simply cannot be communicated effectively with mechanistic language, and that is prose, essentially. And so other forms of communication, like poetry, like music, like art, allow us to lean into abstraction and lean into intuitions. And if we're learning anything when it comes to the climate crisis, it is those abstractions and intuitions that we need to understand and follow if we're going to figure out what to do. Seeing the big picture demands recognizing how small we are initially and going from there. Engineers have such an important role to play and could play a, a huge role in the transition. Um, establishing how we can create uh, sustainable products and sustainable infrastructure is a huge part of the problem that we face. And as any good engineer will tell you, we have the solutions already. We know what needs to be done. And so especially to young engineers, educating them that they have the right to work for companies who are working towards that future beyond just making profits, but about building a sustainable world and going and using their talents and their incredible brains and their creativity to do that. We could literally engineer a sustainable world from the ground up. So be optimistic about your capacity to make change if you're interested and be optimistic as well that we have the solutions, but don't place false hope in leaders who currently are proving that they're not willing to take the appropriate action to avoid catastrophe, essentially. So be educated. That's how you figure out what to do with your hope.